We're here at the NOAA Tide Station in Grand Isle, Louisiana, the state's only inhabited barrier island. It's really an important location because it's actually reporting the highest sea level rise rates in the world. With the present trends that we are seeing coming from the Grand Isle Tide Station, the coastal landscape today across 12,000 square miles of Louisiana's coastal zone will be inundated by the end of the century. Tim, you're looking at this levee system right here. You're looking at 45 miles from New Orleans. This is the first line of defense to protect not only Grand Isle, but all of New Orleans and the vicinity to the six parishes on the other side of this levee. It's very important to have this levee system. Without this levee system, the first line of defense, no telling what can happen to New Orleans. We have the breakwaters just offshore, helping break down stormways before they hit the beach. And then the dunes, or what they call the levees here, are built in waves, actually two separate dune features that help knock down the storm waves, help buffer the storm energy before it actually crests over top of those dunes, those levees, and gets into the coastal community itself. I seen water come up to the top of the levee in which there was no other water on the other side. And you see the vegetation is to make sure the sand doesn't fly off the top of this levee. Grand Isle is literally a living example of adapting its landscape, its population, to sea level rise and to subsidence. If it does, it continues to serve as the front line of defense to maintaining the shoreline of coastal Louisiana as it is today. You can see the levee system. I love this. I love this. This is good.